Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use QLM. In this tutorial, I'll guide you through the first step in getting started, and that's how to define your product in QLM. The first thing you need to do in order to protect your application is to define your product. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll use a demo product. To create a product, you enter your product name, major, and minor version. When you generate a license key, the product ID, major and minor versions will be embedded in the license key. This means that by default, a license key will only work for a specific version of your product. Now, if you sell a maintenance plan option or a subscription-based product, you typically want to allow a license key to work across different versions of your product. This can be done with QLM's maintenance plan feature. When you create a license key, you can enable a maintenance option and associate a maintenance plan expiry date to the license. When users activate a license of a given version of your product, QLM compares the release date of that version, which you define right here, with the maintenance plan expiry date. If the maintenance plan was still valid when the version was released, QLM allows the activation. This means that you never have to send your customers new license keys when you release new versions of your product. With each product, you can associate up to 32 features that can be embedded in the license key. At runtime, your application can call the QLM API to verify which features are enabled in the license key and accordingly activate these features in your own application. In addition to providing license protection, QLM provides a framework for implementing a check for updates feature in your application. On this tab, you define the latest version of your software along with a URL to download the application and release notes associated with the latest version. QLM provides a ready-to-use graphical user interface that allows the user to view the release notes and download the new version. You can also use the QLM API to retrieve the information about the latest version. QLM license keys are generated using an asymmetric PKI encryption algorithm. What this means is that malicious hackers cannot write key generators for your application because only the public key is included in your code. Product properties are customer properties that you can associate to your product, whereas features that we discussed earlier are on-off toggles, product properties can have three different data types, Boolean, integers, or strings. You can define as many product properties as needed and set their values when you create a new license key. Product properties are not embedded in the license key. They are stored in a digitally signed XML file. Additionally, with QLM Enterprise, you can associate an expiry date to a product property. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video tutorial.